गुड आफ्टरनून
So all of you, good afternoon. So let's start the class now. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. So I think we have to talk about uh, bubbles. Uh, sorry, uh, insertion software. Right? Yes. Hello. Yes, sir. You are audible. Yeah. So I think we have discussed insertion sort in the last class, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Now I have created two assignments for insertion sort and bubble sort. So what I will do is that first I will explain you how, uh, I don't know whether you have prepared your logic or not. I, I just explain you the logic now because I, you have plenty of time to think about your logic. So this is how I have written this one based on the explanation I have written. So there should be no copy or there should be no similarity. If I find the similarity like 100% or uh, a, a more than 80%, the both people who got the similarity, their marks will be reduced. Okay. So please be sure that you do not plagiarize. Try it on your own. If you have any doubts, then only discuss with your friends. Discussion doesn't mean copying the whole program or your friend dictating you and you are typing something here. Discussion in the sense, take the logic, ex get the explanation of the logic, not logic in the sense, get to know, break down your problem, get to know each and every, you know, uh, minute thing that is required to answer this program about the memory, how the values will be going and all. So this is the one I have written on my own. So it looks my own program, right? So somebody will take something, but I have taken the explanation, which I have explained you. This is a small experiment I have done on the board and based on the experiment, I have done it. So now you can see here, I have clearly written the border is equal to zero. And that they have remembered that I have a border type of thing like blue and red in uh, for the insertion sort, okay? So I have taken border as zero. So our border might increase like while border is less than uh, this one. So every time your border should be increasing. So what is that border mean? I said that the border is something like unordered, sorry, ordered. And the red border is something like the unordered. So here my border in the sense it's equal to the ordered one. Okay. So the same thing I'm doing here. So I am going with ordered here. So this is border. So border first starts with zero and the left hand is always equal to the border. So if you get to this and I think wherever the border is at this current moment, the border is at seven. Okay. Whatever it might be extending, is it from zero to one or zero to two, but the last value is always considered as a border. So the same thing I have explained in the last class. I don't know how many of you have done it. I'll just see, uh, uh, when you have done this program, I will just look into your programs and see how you have attained your knowledge. And also, please don't try it in some VS code or Python or something or uh, Python tutor. It's only for your reference. You can use it. I, from next assignments onwards, I will disable the copy one also. So I will not give any copy paste option into that. So you have to type everything there. So number of times you can run your program. But if you are confident that everything is running correctly, then you, have, you can use the button called evaluate. So three evaluations are free for you. After the third three evaluations, one one mark will be cut. Be careful in that. So here, while the border is less than uh, this length of L. So what I have done, my left hand is equal to border and right hand is equal to left hand plus one. This is what we have discussed in the last session, right? And wherever the left, left, uh, right hand is, the target will be having that number of that right hand. That's what this one. So after this arrangement, I'm going to the for loop. This you know already, right? In the line number 13, the minus one, which indicates this one, which indicates this minus one indicates that it's a reverse way. So you are starting at wherever the border is and you are ending at zero. The reason 
it's i'm sorry it's advertisements that every time coming the reason is that we are keeping up to minus 1 so it will go in a reverse way from border to zero this is all about the left hand so you understand that in the previous session we have been discussing right we are moving the left hand to the left side i don't know how many of you have remembered that so we are moving our left hand towards the left side up to zero that's what this for loop is okay so for mo forward moving we are going for while border and for the left side moving that means the backward moving of the left hand we are going for this for loop which is a reverse one so all the things i have already told you right the left hand is less than the target and l of left hand plus 1 is equal to target these are all the conditions i have told you if the left hand is less than target this is what we have done we have braked it otherwise we are just uh, doing this particular lines like you are making the left hand uh, plus 1 is equal to left hand and uh, the left hand will be equal to the target uh, the target will be equal to the left hand we are just uh, putting the inserting the value the correct value in that position all this we have discussed that day you just look into that uh, you, anyway you can take a screenshot of this and based on this you keep it aside and my video of explaining you how i am doing insertion sort then you will get an idea of what to do okay so uh, every time i am increasing the border you see so the blue bar is increasing telling that my ordered pair is getting increased so when you come back again it will check with the border and this time again it will put the left hand as border and right hand as left hand plus one and so on so see the difference between them why this i have only mentioned left hand and why this i am saying l of right hand or l of left hand so these are actually the numbers in your list or an array and these are actually the index type of thing so it, they are representing the indexes not the numbers of that index or the elements of that index so i have used my same explanation uh, wherever i have kept the target left hand right hand i have used that one only and written the program now i will explain you the bubble sort because uh, i understand that you might have done it if you are really interested uh, in doing so you might have already designed an algorithm for insertion sort and you have you might have already tested in vs code and so if you are really interested and thinking that i have paid some fee wasting parents amount but if you are not interested i cannot do anything i cannot force you to study right because you have 3 days of time to do these things so it's like saturday sunday and monday at least if you sit for half an hour or one hour you will, you might get it okay coming to bubble sort why this sort is called a bubble sort the reason is that the bubbles are popping out i i don't know whether you have observed or not the big bubbles will have more air and those are the bubbles which come to the surface now uh, if try uh, imagine like this you are uh, you are actually releasing an oxygen into the aquarium fish aquarium sometimes the bubble sizes might be different right the big bubble will come up fast and and very small bubbles will slowly come up i don't know how many of you have observed this the reason is the big bubble is having more air and so it will reach to the surface very fast the small bubbles will be uh, uh, you know uh, in into the depth of the water and they slowly rise they are not very fast when compared to the big bubbles so the same thing happens here the bubble sort will go like this all the numbers which are big actually are sent to the last so we want an ascending order and hence what we do we think that all the largest numbers are big bubbles all the smallest numbers are small bubbles they stay at the indexes that are starting like 0 1 2 3 and etc and all the big bubbles will be pushed aside slowly so one by one bubble will be pushed and finally its position will be fixed look into this what i am doing forget about the target there is no target here there will be only left hand right hand and swapping that's all okay right so slowly you uh, you tell me first i will tell you the uh, uh, you know the process and you tell me in between what happens now we want an ascending order uh, comparing these two is it in a correct position or wrong position can anybody tell me correct 
correct position sir correct position correct position next what you do is you will say the left hand is the, the left hand is equal to the right hand and right hand is equal to the right hand plus 1 okay now tell me what what about this position wrong position wrong position see here itself comes the idea of swapping i will tell you how the idea of swapping will be there for example i will take this one and uh, i will put it as temp this is called temp variable generally i will tell you how the idea of swapping will be done in c program now i need to change 4 to the second index position and 1 to the first index position right so if for example i said something like uh, if if the whole list is l l of 2 is equal to l of 1 what happens you know in the memory it will come here it will delete this one and replace it with 4 and where do you get 1 so that you can copy in this position one is already replaced by 4 and you have both positions as 4 you are missing one right so you have to take one as uh, into the backup so you need to store it somewhere else so that even if 4 replaces one in this position still that one is remaining with us somewhere else so that we can copy that one to this position i hope you are understanding memory is quite different you cannot pick that cup and this cup and put it into that and put it into this you you cannot change like that we generally play the game in our childhood right we put the money into the cup and uh, other cup is uh, you know completely empty we simply exchange their positions it's not like that in the memory if you if you want to the exchange you have to only copy and paste it into that memory so the four is copied and pasted so the one is replaced in this position so we are losing one so in c programming what they suggest is the one should be taken as a backup so it should be stored somewhere else and then four will be replacing one and using that one you can put it into somewhere like whatever position you want okay so let us see how it goes on so what i will do here i will take because this is the first element i will take this as a backup okay yeah so this is the temp variable so it's a temporary backup now i will send this one into this position okay right now fine now i will copy the temp whatever that is there in the temp and i will send this to this position this is called swapping this is the process of swapping in c programming generally so how it is done you see in c programming if the list is l there so i will say l of uh okay temp is equal to first i copied like that right l of 1 so i am copying l of 1 which is 4 earlier into the temp now i am copying l of 1 is equal to l of 2 that means i am copying l of 2 to l of 1 both ones will be there now so l of 2 is equal to l of 1 next whatever that is there in the temp should be sent to l of 2 so l of 2 sorry I I did something wrong. I think right. L of one is equal to L of two. Okay, because we have backed up in uh, what whatever the position uh, of sir, L of is backed up. Yeah, tell me, sir. Can you repeat it once from the temp, sir? Temp. Uh, temp is equal to L one. Yeah, temp is equal to L one. What is L of one? Can you tell me earlier? Four. Four, sir. Four. so what i will do you see i will i will just parallelly make it done so that you will also understand so i will put it this way how the general swapping will be done so generally if i put two boxes and put two dusters in those boxes the boxes are written with some chalk piece or something if i ask you to exchange that position you generally uh, to pick up this duster and put the duster there and put this here 
as i said it is not like physical body or or the real world the memory is quite different you cannot pick that one and put the four there and one in the place of four so for that what we need to do you see i will also write this one here first of all i will take the backup of l1 okay this is l1 so what i do i will send l1 to temp so the sending is like that whatever the value on the right side nothing but l of 1 is equal to 4 right the 4 will be sent to temp so now what we will do we will make 4 into the temp i hope you understand this one now write the next line l of 1 is equal to l of 2 Okay, this is how we can do it. L of 1 is equal to L of 2. Now what happens, you see, already we have backed up L of 1, right? So now you can safely replace that 4 with 1. Yeah, this is how you can do it. So L of 1 is equal to L of 2. So whatever the value in L of 2 will be sent to L of 1. So this is a simple thing that you need to remember in assignment operator, whatever the value that is there on the right hand side will be assigned to the left hand side. So it's simply nothing but copying and pasting it. So you're copying the value of L of 2 and pasting it in L of 1. So the old value is replaced with your L of 2 value. Now your 4 should come to this position. So what is the next statement? Can anybody tell me? L of, L of 2, two equal, equal to, to L of 1. Uh, so it's L of 2 equal to temp, right? So this is how the swapping will be done in C programming. So I will copy this one and paste it into this so it will be replaced. So this is how I, the swapping will be done in C and C++ and even in Java. But see how easy in Python, swapping is compulsory, but the easiest thing in Python is you can simply write like this, is equal to L of 2 comma L of 1. This is the way you do swapping in Python. So it simply tells that send the value of L of 2 to L of 1. So it, it keeps automatically a backup of both the values. So now you will do L of 2 is equal to L of 1 and L of 1 is equal to L of 2. This is how you are doing. In a very simple single line, you can do the swapping of both values. This is this is very simple in Python. So this is done in C, C++, Java this way, and this way is done in Python. Better, you, if you want, you can do like this, or you can also use this type of instruction to swap. So if you want to swap both values, you can do one thing. You can say m comma n is equal to n comma m, right? So it's simply like this. A comma b is equal to b comma a. This is how you can do. Just a second. Okay, right. I hope you understand. This is how the swapping can be done in your programming. And now come back to our algorithm. So I think this is done. The swapping is done, right? So again, the left hand is equal to the right hand and right hand is equal to the right hand plus one. Sir. Now this is where. Now what happens in this? Do we need swapping? No, sir. No. Again, it's finished. Nothing we are doing. Again, the left hand is equal to right hand and right hand is equal to the left uh, right hand plus one. Now, next. No need, sir. No need. Again, the same thing. Left hand is equal to right hand and right hand is equal to right hand plus one. Now, what about this? We need, we need to swap. Yeah, we need swapping. So, I will swap it. So, you know what is the process of swapping? So, I am doing it directly. So done it. Again, the same position. Left hand is equal to right hand and right hand is equal to right hand plus one. I think again we need swapping. So I'm simply swapping it. Here it is coming. Okay. So I'm swapping it. 
next thing again you can go this one so again you need to swap because it is not there see finally the bubble 9 which is the highest bubble is coming out so end so for this 9 it is the correct position that we can decide so what we do uh, we reduce our border so our border is up to 6 only we are now uh, leaving aside 7 like that so we are we are never going into 7 we are going from again 0 to 6 so set your left hand to 0 again and your right hand to left hand plus 1 okay now again do you need swapping yes in this case swapping is required see slowly we are pushing the highest bubble to the last one wherever the last is next again left hand is equal to right hand and right hand is equal to left hand plus one no swapping is required so again move the left and right hands no swapping is re required so move the left hand and right hand here the swapping requires right so what you simply do you swap the values here and coming out again here also the swapping is required so you simply swap them and move your so this is the last position we are not going into seven we are only stopping at six so every time you have to set a border variable so i think nothing is there so eight is the final bubble that is uh, based on the position it is acquiring its own position now reduce the border see even though you think that it is entirely arranged in an order the computer doesn't know it cannot see right i always told you that computer is blind so you have to come back again with your algorithm again you need to look nothing to change nothing to change and it goes on up to five after going to five again you have to reduce your size again start the left hand and right hand as zero one and go on like that and finally your entire array will be swapped this is called bubble sort because we are pushing away if you if we are need an ascending order we are pushing away all the highest values to the top like this so we are only sorting this one so we can consider this as an ordered pair in this case and this is as an unordered pair okay so the reverse of the above uh, an insertion algorithm right i think you can do this uh, first of all try out an algorithm for this on your own based on the explanation i have given for insertion sort you can try out your own logic but be careful that you are following the constraints of your bubble sort. Don't think that I can do whatever I like for sorting and say it's a bubble sort. No, because, uh, you know, it's like wearing uh, your own printed ID card when coming to Geetham University without wearing its uh, issued ID card. So there are some rules and regulations and some ways to do a bubble sort. You need to satisfy that. I am telling you the main theme of bubble sort, whatever the order is, you want to push something aside. If it is a descending order, you want to push all the smaller bubbles aside, right? So uh, one will be in the seventh position and three will be in the sixth position like that. You can also try out for the same thing, like descending order also. The nine will be at zero eighth position. So where whatever you want you want to send all the desired bubbles aside towards right so if it is an ascending order the highest number will be pushed first to the last position and the second highest number will be pushed second to the last but one position like that you are pushing every time again you don't bother about seven six and all because you see in this case you are reducing it so now you are bothering about only zero to four to exchange everything so think about this logic and after some time i will explain it okay i am giving you some time you think about this logic and i have already prepared assignment for you i have given 20 uh, the time up to 28 you can now directly start your assignments first freshly start the bubble sort because it's just now explained try out your logic and do it sir hmm uh last time when you gave that binary search problem no sir yes uh, you asked us to 
sort the given array yes uh, so i used some i used a similar sorting technique sir okay uh, can i show you that thing sir uh yeah you can yes sir sir uh, sharing permission sir yes So is my screen visible, sir? Ah, yes. Now it is visible. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, here down, I took a array, sir. Hmm. Ah, uh, from the input array, and then I am sending that array to a class. Hmm. Thereafter, ah, uh, the array goes in, and it gets ah. Uh, there, I'll I'll select a duplicate array, sir. Hmm. Ah, uh, and because I I selected a duplicate array, sir, because when I'm doing binary search, the You didn't uh, change the test cases, sir. Yeah. Ah, uh, when you are doing it, now I have changed it. Of course. Now you yeah. change it. Later you change it, but initially okay. I I have done it, sir. Okay, no problem. That's incredible. Mm. So I I created a duplicate list and I appended the same list into this duplicate list, sir. Hmm. Now the first list which I uh taken as input uh from the user, I rearranged it. I sorted it, sir, in this manner. Hmm. The loop which is uh. Been I like this loop, sir. Mm -hmm. I I sorted it with, uh, with using this logic, sir. But that means you are always going. So you can use this bubble sort of uh, type of technique because your complexity is little bit high because you are not stopping at the last position, right? So every yes, time sir. you are taking from the first and slowly you are pushing at the back, but you are again considering whatever that is arranged in its current position. Right. Yes. I hope you understand. So even you are going up to nine also, including nine also, right? In our uh, task, uh, just we have discussed an example, right? So yes, sir. I'm I'm going to the last element of this. Ah, so if you can change it, it becomes a bubble sort. So okay. why bubble sort has made it? Why didn't uh, it go like how you have done it? Because why to go to those elements which are already put it uh, put in the current position? They are kept in their correct position, right? There is no need yes, for sir. us to go back again and see whether they can be uh, sorted or not. No need. So that is the reason why the bubble sort is decreasing its uh, array size every time. So array, it's not array size. I want to talk about the focus size. So what position you want to focus for sorting? Okay. So sir, uh, so the basic difference between the which one I am showing you and the bubble sort is. Uh, I am checking each and every element, but hmm. the bubble sort only checks the elements which are not in a wrong, which are in a wrong position. Yes, wrong position. If they are in the correct position, it is leaving aside. So naturally, it is checking that the last element will be left first. Next, the last but one will be uh, element will be uh, left in the second iteration, and the last but uh, uh, second element will be uh, left over in the third iteration. Like that, it is doing now. That's the only difference that you and the bubble sort has. Okay, sir. But, but that makes a major difference, of course, because you know. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, it makes the segments running segments uh, yeah. less. Sir. You, your time complexity is greater than what he has proposed. I hope you are understand. Yes, sir. I got it, sir. Yeah. Yes. So, so I'll try that again, sir. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. so after 10 minutes i will explain you the logic and in the meanwhile if anybody has done it fast you can write it into the uh, you know assignment don't wait for me to explain i will explain only for those people who get some confusion while they write the code Yeah, somebody said that uh, they had a difficulty with binary search while executing. They could not evaluate. Who, yes, who, yeah. Can you, yes, sir. Can you just uh, have, when when you have finished your assignment? Is it uh, after the date is over or the time is over? Before itself, sir. I messaged you also, sir. 
Okay, I will share the screen. Can you just uh, show me your assignment so that I can just try to evaluate yours from my side. Your number? One number seven, sir. Here for okay. this one. Sir. This one, right? Yes, sir. So, just I will try to evaluate for you. This is what you are getting or what as an error? Yes, sir. This is what I am getting, sir. Taking too much of seconds, sir. So there is some logical error, I think. I hope. Sir, I think the loop went into infinity loops. Sir. Ah, infinity. That's what I am thinking about. The loop might have gone into infinity. That's the reason it is not being evaluated. Okay, sir. Let's see. Yeah, you see, bool. What is bool here? Always true. So that means the while loop is always true. Keeping on repeating, keeping on repeating, keeping on repeating. Did you understand? Okay, sir. I will so check. Here, here, you know, the break doesn't really help at this point. So in, in while loop, you have one if condition and you have already an if condition. Just imagine where this uh, break statement will be useful. So uh, I won't explain you, right? This is the main loop. And if you write a for loop here, this for loop might be a nested loop of the while loop. That means it's a sub loop. Yes, so sir. the break statement actually breaks from the for loop in which you have written the break statement. Actually break is used only for loops, not the conditions. So yes, now sir. because you have written here, it, the break has no uh, nothing to do here. Actually, it cannot break from anything. But if you write a break in this something like outside in this position, maybe, okay, in this position at this line, so you, then it comes into the while loop. So while loop is never breaking. So you need to change a little bit then based on your logic. You, you know that you want to break, break out from the while loop, but you haven't kept the break in a correct position. Okay. Okay, sir. So shall you give time for uh, one hour, sir? I will change. Ah, I will. I will do it. I will do it. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Sir, we didn't get our module marks yet. Ah, yes. I will do it. So you do that assignment. I will do this assignment. Okay, sir. Okay, so yeah, don't uh, don't need to worry. Today up to seven thirty, I have extended this assignment. Okay. Okay, sir. Thanks. Sir. Now I have to fetch. Can anybody help me? If possible, so that I can send your marks directly. I did not look into this until now. So these are your grades. Uh, is there anything that I can send you all? Somebody said, right, uh, we can get it uh, based on the user preferences. Hmm. Sir, I think it will be in a results column, sir. Results column? Yes, sir. Uh, de uh, declaring the results or something. So we are in results and grades only. Let me see. Responses, manual grading, statistics, talks. I just need to explore. I didn't I never explored this one. If I explore, I will get it. I think to display group overrides. I think I need, I can change the permission for this. 
can change the bug mission but so settings downgrade date to pass 12 person behavior review options same for all the grades so restrictions on all overall feedback your settings to completion tags so. <laughs> Do you have any grades column with you? Anybody can just uh, uh, open your, uh, what we say, learn.githam.edu and share the screen. Because the options tells that you can see your grade. Can anybody share the screen once? I will share, sir. Okay, Shravan. Yeah, go to grades there. Just review, so we don't have any. Yeah. No, no, no. Go to grades on the left side. Go to grades on the left side. Seven, are you able to hear me? Yeah, go to grades. Click on that grade. Come down. Come down, come down. That's also. So there is no unit test available to you, right? Yes, sir. You keep you keep that like that, and just after I tell you, you just refresh it. Okay, sir. Thank 
seven once refresh it and see no sir no you yeah, not even on the top there is no interest mark no sir okay 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 thank you i will get back to you okay sir sir have a assignment sir end amount no hello సార్ ఇందాకలా బబుల్ సార్ చెప్పారు కదా సార్ దాని అసైన్‌మెంట్ అప్డేట్ చేశారని అడుగుతున్నా ఆ అడిగే చేసాను ఆల్్రెడీ ఉంది ఓకే సార్ ఎక్స్‌క్యూజ్ మీ సార్ యా టెల్ మీ అమ్మ సార్ ఇన్ మై బైనరీ కేస్ అసైన్‌మెంట్ దేర్ ఆర్ నో టెస్ట్స్ టెస్ట్ కేసెస్ సార్ దేర్ ఆర్ నో టెస్ట్ కేసెస్ yes sir then sir. how come others have done it రిఫ్రెష్ట్ yeah i have kept it right a bubble sort exercise for your cyber security the course introduction cyber security you have that bubble sort okay sir yeah so i will just try to explain a little bit so that you can try it out on your own so this is what a very simple program that i have done right the same thing the blue color uh, bar which i have shown you now right it starts at 7 the border is equal to length of l minus 1 it's nothing but the length of l uh, is 8 minus 1 7 so 0 to 7 index numbers are there so border will be at 7 so you can imagine that the the blue bar that we have initially right it is up to 7 okay sir yeah tell me sir uh, sir can we take like an outer loop and inner loop sir like in this example to like signify the both hands sir hmm hmm uh, like sir outer loop can you know signify one hand and inner can signify and we can compare and show no sir why do you take those many loops one loop is uh, uh you can do it of course you can do it but how do you set a border that i need to only go up to six i need to this time go up to five sir how do you do that uh i did that sir uh similarly okay. i even got the answer sir can i share my screen yeah okay uh, just, just try uh, i will i will try to explain so that the people will understand this then we will look into that yeah okay? sure sir yeah so here i am going for while loop a border greater than or equal to zero so the border will be starting at seven decreasing itself so that's the reason why i have done it in 14th line and it finally reaches at zero so that it will stop so the for loop starts here the for loop left hand in range zero to border so wherever the border value it, the left hand will always start from zero 
it. If the border value is six, the left hand will start at zero and end at six something. It's it will not end at six actually because the border up to border value right. It will end at five. So that the right hand will end at six. If the border value is five, the left hand will end at four, and right hand will end at five itself. So that's the reason. See, the right hand is equal to the left hand plus one. So every time I am comparing, if the left hand's value is greater than the right hand's value, so if it is greater, I am swapping it. If it is not greater, I am doing nothing. So it is. This is how I have done it. So this loop repeats every time, so that the left hand will start at zero and end up to border, and the right hand will always end at border. Okay. See the difference between up to and at. And every time we are comparing the left hand with the right hand's value, and we are trying to just swap it. So after the entire left hand right hand reaches to the end of the border. Again, we are decreasing our border, and we are starting the while loop with the left hand starting from zero and ending up to border. This is how I have written the code. The same explanation which I have given on the board. Yeah, now somebody can share it. Yes, sir. I'm sharing it. Okay. Uh, it's visible now, sir. Yes, Omar. Sir, I did something like this, sir. Mm. Okay. So if I run the program, uh, this is sorted, no sir. Okay, right. So have you tested with different other values also? Uh, no sir, like not yet. Random numbers you give like twenty six, eighty two. Uh, yes, sir. It's working fine. Okay, keep that eighty-two to the front. Run it. So it still works fine. Eight. Yeah, very good. Correct. So it almost all equal, but you have used greater than or equal to one. Yes, and... sir. Instead of length minus uh, length of L minus one, you have used length of L directly. So not a very big problem. It's almost all equal. Uh, first time when I tried it, sir, uh, so, I got uh, it in I, this. I I generally uh, prefer Omar uh, remove two eighty four and two eighty five lines because they are unnecessary for us. Two eighty four and two eighty five lines. These because two, if you uh, if you want to be a good programmer. Uh, you should be able to remove all the unnecessary lines because even though they are there or not, the program will run the same, right? Yes, sir. Uh, then same. you can remove it. Uh, yes, sir. So the, so the number of instructional lines will be reduced so that you can you are saving your space also. Okay, sir. Okay. Yeah, that's Thank good. You, Correct. So I think you can now try out your problems. Uh, we can leave the class now. Bye bye all.